asked me to describe some of the items that have come into the booth recently. So I'm going to give you a little preview of things that I just brought in today uh, for the booth space this week. This item is a cast iron, really old. It's almost like what porch railing's made out of, but it's a wall hanger for a flower pot. So it's kind of like a wall um, flower pot sconce almost. That's a really neat piece. We've got it listed at $35, includes the terracotta pot there on the wall. Another piece that I brought in today is this plant shelf. This plant shelf has three shelves. It's a uh, really nice metal. It folds down, so it folds completely flat for easy storage. That piece is priced at $40, fold flat garden shelf. Here's a full look of it. Let me get this other piece out of the way. Next, I have this little portable wine rack, and I put on here, I'm like, I said metal wine rack, or could be a towel holder repurposed. I mean, sometimes think outside of the box. You could roll towels, put this in your guest bath. It has a nice handle. You could take it to the laundry room, load it up. Same thing with your wine cellar. You could load it up, bring it up to wherever you want it. Really neat portable piece that could be used for multiple purposes. So that's why I picked that piece up this week. Also new to the booth are these enormous candlesticks. Now these are Bombay Company. They do have one of the original tags is still left on there. Um, they're 39 and a half inches tall, really huge, but they would make a big statement piece on a table for a wedding, for practically anything. Great pieces to have. They do polish up with them. Um, I don't know if any of you all know semi-chrome polish, but I'll put a picture of a Hapish semi-chrome polish. It's good for chrome, nickel, brass, copper, stainless steel, pretty much anything that you kind of want to polish up. And I did use some on here. Uh, there was a little discoloration on this one, took it right out. And uh, these are 45 for the pair, Bombay Company, 39 and a half inch tall, monumental candlesticks. I can even get them in the frame. Won't be here long also new to this booth this week is this little, it's a black washed oak. You can see the oak grain in there, um, iron and glass top table. Don't know much about the history of it. It's probably not real, real old, but it is a neat decorator piece. That's in the booth this week, priced at $85. Some of these other things, this is a really pretty Crystal Eagle, I think it's Crystal D Arcs, Crystal D Arcs, something like that. Um, nice piece, we've got that listed at $20. There's also a Jeanette Carnival Glass piece here for $10. Carnival Glass is becoming very hot again, and uh, got that out there kind of featuring it. This piece is really nice, it's a little, um, kind of like a little uh, serving tray, you know, for whatever, little hors d'oeuvres or whatnot. Um, this piece is English. It's Country Cottage, $20. And it is stamped British Anchor England on the bottom of it. So good authentic English piece there. It goes pretty with uh, Friendly Village. If you've got Friendly Village, it'll go right along with it as a kind of an accent piece. Last piece that's new to the booth this week is this little rocking chair. Now, my dad had a chair very similar to this that wasn't a rocking chair. In fact, it's almost identical without the rockers on it. And I know it belonged to his grandparents. So, I mean, that puts these in the 1800s, usually. I'm not real, real sure about the history of this one, whatever, but it is a neat little rocker. It does have a lot of age and it, it is um, definitely antique. Uh, real good price on this. Child's rocking chairs at $25. Be really cute. If you have a doll collection too, it's a good way to display uh, dolls or, or whatever. It just makes a really neat little piece um, in your home. Well, that's got it for this week, uh, Antique and Garden Showcase friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't uh, subscribed, love to have you as a subscriber. Be sure to like and also hit the bell for notifications. Have a good week. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.